Hi, my name is Tom and welcome at XPB. I'm going to be your instructor for today and if you have any questions at the end of the video, please ask us, we are happy to help. You can find our information right here. In this lesson, I'm going to explain to you how to create a material. Before I'm going to show you how to create a material, I'm going to explain to you what a material is. In this case, we can see here it's a plate or a bowl. And the material on this plate or bowl is a solid white with no texture, just a matte white finish. On the right hand side, I can change the material. So for example, if I change to this red, we can see the material of the top part of this 3D model has changed. A material consists of a color or a texture and also some extra properties like reflection or specularity. On this specific material, you can see it has an image of this red texture. You can also see it has some specularity and glossiness on the edges. If I change around to the light, you can also see it has some bump or texture on the plate itself. So this particular material is filled with a lot of different textures. To create a material, you have to fill them with textures. A material is a overall name of a certain color. To get to this result, you have to fill a material with certain textures. A texture is an image or a file that influences either color, specularity, bump, or anything else that I will be showing you later. Materials can be considered something like a box that has to be filled with textures to get a result. Another very important step of materials is to have the correct UV maps. A UV map is the unfolded version of your 3D model. So here you can see your 3D model is a sphere and your UV map, map will be a flat image of this sphere. In the next example, you can see that if you add a texture, or in this case, an image of the earth to the flat UV map, it will fold correctly onto your 3D model. In this last example, you can see how a UV map is created from a cube. So each side of the cube will be unfolded flat until you have a flat image or a UV map to put a texture or an image onto it. If your UV map is correct, all your images will display correctly onto your model. So in this case, this texture will display correctly onto this plate. If your UVs aren't correct, they will either not show up or they will be stretched or crushed onto the model and will not look correctly. To set up your correct UVs, you have to go back to your 3D program and depending on which program, they will all have some sort of UV editor where you can correct your UVs. To create your materials, you go to the back end of XPV. On the left hand side, go to the three stripes and go to materials. Here you will find your materials that already got imported with your model. But you can also create your own by clicking the add button. You can give your material a new name. In this case, we're going to call it just green. I select confirm. This will create a new material. Select to open it. On the left hand side, you will see a preview of what your material will look like. And on the right hand side are all the different settings to create your material. For a basic material, you can change the diffuse color to a color that you want. So in this case, we want a dark green or just a green. 
and you can immediately see on the left side that your preview will change to the new green color. In a later video, I will be showing you how to create more difficult and more expensive materials, including things like transparency, environment maps, uh, normal maps, and also AO maps. Thank you for following along in this lesson, and I hope to see you in the next one.